Hello, and welcome to another Roofing Road Trips from Roofers Coffee Shop. My name is Heidi Ellsworth, and I am here today with David Edwards, the Commercial System Specialist at Polyglass. David, welcome to the show. Thank you, Heidi. Very happy to be here. Oh, I'm just so happy to have you today to talk about what an important topic, the what Polyglass is doing with cool roofing, energy. I mean, Polyglass has always been a leader. It's so exciting to see all the innovations that continue to come from you all. It's so true. It's just embedded in the culture of Polyglass uh, from the beginning, and it just continues to this day. So it, it, it's a constant pleasure for the company to continue to innovate, especially when it comes to sustainability and, and protecting the environment and, and working towards cool roof solutions. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it over the years. I've worked with Polyglass a lot over the years, and it is um, it is just part of your core. It's part of the culture. Um, but before we dive into all of that, I would love it, David, if you would introduce yourself, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, about your position at Polyglass, and then maybe just even overall about Polyglass itself. Okay. Hi. Yes. My name is David Edwards. I'm the commercial system specialist or a commercial system specialist here at Polyglass been here for the past five years and super excited to be a part of this this company and this team just because mainly of the innovations that I've seen come out even over the last five years it's been exciting to be associated with it and to watch it unfold um, but Polyglass has a long long history through the decades of of innovating um, as you mentioned during your opening the Zanchetta brothers uh, back in the 60s uh, starting with with Luigi and Romano and and Antonio Zanchetta, they just really started innovating from day one, and it carried all the way through uh, our our history's timeline up into the mid two thousands, up into when Mape Group acquired Polyglass. So that was a very natural fit as well between the two companies because of the way that they also uh, look to innovate consistently. Yeah, what a great merger. And I mean, when you look at everything that has come out um, and how how much growth there has been, it's just amazing. It is amazing. And it, again, it's exciting to be a part of and, and to see things as innovative as Cure Technology, you know, patented uh, thin film innovation uh, that, that I'm sure we'll talk about here uh, shortly, and, and as well as the different coatings and cool roof uh, options and solutions that really help towards the overall sustainability, keeping things out of landfill, and, and also taking up you know, less energy. So let's talk a little bit about um, your cool roof coatings. Sure. So our cool roof solutions and coatings were were introduced around 2008 to the company after Polyglass had already been making premium modified uh, bitumen products. Uh, and from there, they just sort of expanded into acrylic coatings or we expanded into acrylic coatings and silicone coatings as well. Uh, and then also that morphed into a one of a kind, highly innovative thin film that goes on top of one of our, our premium uh, membranes. Let's talk a little bit more about that technology. I mean, you just said a minute ago about patents and all those things going on. So what kind of technology is going into all of this? Well, the cure. So let's look at the polyfresco product, which is a modified bitumen membrane that's got a thin film that's placed on top of it. We call it cure technology. It's a patented thin film technology. It's incorporated during the manufacturing process. The results of modified bitumen membrane, it's got greatly enhanced performance benefits and it doesn't compromise the ease of installation at all. And it gives overall value uh, that you would come to expect from polyglass. So it's, it's definitely in line with what we stand for. So CURE itself is an acronym. It stands for ceramic microspheres, ultraviolet stabilizers, resins, and environmentally friendly. So the benefits that are associated with the cure technology when it's placed on top of one of our modified rolls, uh, that's our polyfresco rolls, you get uh, minimal staining on the surface because of this thin film that's applied across the granule. So our modified granulated cap sheets are manufactured in their traditional way. And then there's a 
part in the manufacturing process where this cure technology is applied and it locks in the granules. And, and this sort of technology was born out of the automotive industry. It's much like the clear coat that you would see in the automotive industry painting process. And, and it's a very similar type of technology. However, it's now tinted white. It's applied to a cap sheet over the granules, locks them in, it reduces staining, has phenomenal reflectivity. Um, and I would like to dive into some of those numbers a little bit. Uh, granule adhesion is second to none in the industry. And uh, it's, it's revolutionary uh, for sure. And there's nothing quite like it out there in the bright white cap sheet world. Yeah, that is so cool. Well, and you know, you you just said the reflectivity. Go ahead, let's dive into that. I'd love to hear more about it. Yeah, so when you know the, the Cool Roof Ratings Council um, is coolroofs.org, where all of the the listings and and the directory is located. Basically, this is where all of the testing parameters are set, and and then the within the directory, all of the findings are listed there. So you're able to, anybody's able to go to coolroofs.org and look at any product out in the marketplace. And for example, look at the SRI, the uh, solar reflectance index, uh, the initial SRI and the three-year SRI, which is oftentimes referred to, for example, in title 24, um, part six, they point back to the SRI initial and the age weather SRI. So it's an important litmus test as to the, to the, how well the product is going to work. So when it comes to polyglass and polyfresco, the numbers, the initial SRI and the three-year SRI exceeds every other modified bright white cap on the marketplace today. And that is just something super proud. You know, we're super proud to be, uh, able to offer to the marketplace. And then there's a city like Los Angeles city that considers us to be the preferred bright white cap sheet because of those numbers alone. So it's, it's exciting. And we have a, an initial SRI of 96 and a three-year SRI of 83. And again, all of this is easily accessed at coolroofs.org and, and all of the radi uh, radiative property testing has been, you know, all, always has to be conducted by an accredited independent testing laboratory and, and, and in accordance with their, their standards. So, and, and that would be CRC, CRRC1. So it, that's exciting. But to take it a step further, our initial SRI and three-year SRI is also surpasses more than half of the single plies on the market. And this is so vital for the, the, the industry because people want the benefits associated with modifieds, the redundancy that comes with it, the durability that comes with it. But they were turning to single plies at one point in order to get the reflectivity that they desired. So as a marketplace started to create these types of modifieds with bright white options, it became better and better until polyfresco came and blew everything out of the water. And now our product actually competes or beats more than 50% of single plies. So it's exciting. Wow. And yes. And one more data point would be the granule adhesion. Uh, there is no comparison with granule adhesion. It, it's because the thin film comes down, locks in all of the granules on top of the sheet, and you get virtually no granule loss when you use the ASTM standard that, that does the scraping method on top of the sheet. And so it's just a, it's just a whole different animal. There's nothing else like it on the marketplace. It's, it's, it's a fantastic product. You know, that is so cool too. And I mean, that is such a problem. You could have, you know, the reflectivity early on, but if you're losing granules or if it's getting dirty or if it's not, you know, doing, and for you to have that kind of reflectivity tested three years later, that's really impressive. It is so impressive. And, and when you go to, to, for example, the listings in coolroofs.org and, and you look, you know, at the, the marketplace itself, you see that not only is it, it, you know, at the top of the list, it's at the top of the list by, by a decent margin. Uh, so it's exciting to see that it's holding 
holding those values as well. And, and granule loss is, is a very important part of, of the roofing system. Right. Right. Well, and I know you're in Florida, I'm in Oregon, but so much starts in California and we see this all the time. So maybe talk a little bit about how is this um, holding up or, you know, meeting the requirements of Title 24, which everybody hears about, and the 2022 California Building Energy Efficiency Standards. How's, how's that all working together? They do set the bar, the standard for energy efficiency. Um, they've definitely got a great thing going on there. And, and so the 2022 uh, Title 24 Part 6 points to the Cool Roofs CRRC listings. So in order to comply with either a performance or pres a prescriptive requirement, uh, performance being a bunch of calculations that are done or prescriptive where you're taking each product and individually making sure that it meets a minimum SRI. Aged is going to be the most important out of those two. They point to the CRRC. And so it has to be listed within there and it's got to have a minimum. So for example, there's different climate zones in California. And, and, and so on a non-residential building, climate zone one through 16, for example, you have to have an SRI aged of 75 or greater. Um, so you can see that, you know, where we're sitting at 83 on our aged, uh, you know, we, we far exceed that. So it's good to know that this product complies and uh, does a great job meeting all right. the needs out there. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And so what are you seeing? I mean, I know you're um, out of um, Florida, Southeast part of the country, but what are you seeing across the country, not just in California, but is there this demand is rising for these kind of products? The demand is rising because people are starting to realize what the real effect is on the energy savings for the building itself. The owners are requesting this at this point, and the designers are also understanding the importance of, of designing the systems accordingly. So even outside of areas like California, where their Title 24 does exist, this is still very important for for many, many reasons. I personally have witnessed a cool roof go on to a school building that had two chillers running prior to the cool roof going on. And after the cool roof was installed, they were able to shut down a chiller. That was a personal experience that I've seen. So firsthand, what that type of uh, solar reflectance, you know, as it's rejecting the heat, what it does for the energy savings of a building. Wow. I mean, that when building owners can see that kind of immediate results, that is really saying something. What um, what are you hearing from building owners out there? I, I know you just said that they're requesting this. What are some what's some of the feedback you're um, seeing, not just from um, building owners, but the facility managers? And also, I know you do a lot with roofing consultants. Well, so when you're dealing with consultants and, and they want to design and they want to meet a certain standard of or a certain level of quality of roof that they want to design, they love the numbers associated with polyfresco, for example, our, our modified bitumen with cure technology on top. Because of that high initial SRI and that three-year SRI number, they're very confident to be able to put that on the roof and know that it's going to perform. And then in turn, they're going to get the good feedback from their building owners. But you hear from building owners that immediately they notice comfort that changes within the building itself, energy, less energy that's needed in order to run the building itself. And so it's, it's, fantastic. Uh, it's a fantastic thing for the building owners. But also something important to note is that as far as maintaining, um, for example, polyfresco, on a, on a low slope roofing, it the staining is is a lot more minimal on the surface of the cap sheet. It significantly resists uh, discoloration, and it maintains its integrity because of the stem film technology. So, as far as maintaining the roof goes, uh, this can also benefit the building owner as well, as they obviously care for the roof over over the life of it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I think that's what I that's what we hear all the time too is, you know, they want obviously the right products up front, but they want products that can be maintained, that can have a lot longer um, uh, longevity uh, for that roof 
because that's also an environmental impact. We want we don't have to we don't want to have to tear off all these roofs. Absolutely. Yes. And the granule retention itself and the most critical areas of the roof, such as the flashing or different details associated with that, it's important for, for the lifetime or the longevity of the roof as well. Yeah, that's cool. I love yeah. that. So what what is the feedback that you're hearing from roofing contractors out there? How do they like installing it? How do they like the product? Installing it is a breeze for contractors every time I talk to them it, it's just got that polyglass high quality modified bitumen uh, that they've come to expect they know that whether they're they are installing it as a torch APP or SBS that that it's going to perform with uh, the, the standards that they're used to and then they also love the fact that polyfresco comes in a self-adhered version as well. They know how important the self-adhered products are from Polyglass because of the innovations that we've had over the years. So you get not only Polyfresco, the cure technology that goes on top of it, but you get all the years of innovations that are packed into a product like our self-adhered, like our Seal Lap Ultra, our Fast Lap at the InLap, our uh, dual compound technology where we're able to take a true APP or true SPS on the top side of the reinforcement and then put a, a self-adhered compound on the bottom side. Not only are we able to do that with our Seal Lab Ultra, we're able to do a scrape and apply where we can literally, during the process of manufacturing, scrape off the side lap and apply our, our self-adhered uh, modified on that side lap so that we get an instantaneous monolithic bond at the most critical portion of you know the roofing system down the side lap so it's a game changer so now you've taken something that polyglass is the very forefront of the industry with regards to self-adhered and then you've supercharged it by giving a polyfresco uh, option in self-adhered so we hear nothing but uh, glowing feedback from from our contractors from from our torching uh polyfresco but but certainly from our, our self-adhered version. Well, and self-adhered is such a, I mean, such a progressive product. I mean, you don't have the fumes, you don't have the fire flame. And I mean, I'm not saying those are bad. I'm just saying self-adhered just hits so many of the right buttons. It hits, it does. It hits so many of the right buttons that in, 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 in with these features that we're able to provide during the manufacturing process, uh, such such that I mentioned about the side lap, the in lap, the, the, the split release film on the backside, uh, all of the uh, innovations and patent technologies that are associated with it. It just, it, it, it's, an, it's, a, it's a phenomenal product. And you always know, this is what I love about self-adhere, that you have 100% adhesive properties on the backside of the roll, which you're never going to get with any other method of application um, as you are, you know, you're relying at that point on the the installer's ability and all of the conditions, environmental conditions on the rooftop. We take that out of the equation with ourselves adhered, and we're able to ensure in the manufacturing process we give a hundred percent adhesive properties to the backside of the roll. So I, I love it for that reason. I love it for like you said that the, the no VOCs, uh, just how great it sticks and how well it seals at the side laps and in laps and and you're not walking around in in adhesives and goops and all over the cap sheets and making a mess either i just think it's fantastic yeah you don't want to mess up that pretty white roof <laughs> no and speaking speaking of that the cure that is put on top of our polyfresco we also have available that product for the rooftop for the guys uh, when they're installing this product to be able to touch up with it or, or so forth. And then on top of that, which is such a great uh, part of Polyglass's lineup and innovation, is we have a, a, a flashing compound called Polyflash 1C. It's a one part flashing compound. It is unlike other products on the market, but most importantly, with regards to what we're talking about today, Polyflash 1C is a modified silene and it's bright white. So 
instead of being like a polyurethane bitumen or a petroleum asphalt urethane, where these products are all brown, and then you're hoping to be able to find another product that is compatible that can go on top and turn it white in order to you know ensure a completely white surface. With Polyflash 1C, as you're flashing all of your penetrations and doing all your other flashing needs across the roof, you know that you're getting a bright white flashing compound as it sits and it's going to stay that way for the life of the roof it's a fantastic product and it's the most perfect marriage for polyfresco that's awesome wow so i mean we've so many things the cool roof coatings the polyfresco products the cure the flashing um you just brought it all together so really building owners um contractors are able to give all the different alternatives exactly what they need um, for those energy efficient roofs. It's so true. It's exciting to be a part of this great company uh, because of these reasons. And, and Polyglass just doesn't stop evolving and innovating. <laughs> and and, I, and I, uh, I, love to, I love to witness it and I love to be a part of it in, in, the, in, my, in my small slice of it. So it's I fantastic. Well, and you know what's coming up is the FRSA 100th anniversary trade show in July. Um, you guys are going to have a nice big booth there. So people can come by who are going to be at that show and see these products and get hands on, right? 100%. Yes, absolutely. They will be uh, highlighted at the booth, I'm sure. Our marketing team is second to none uh, with, with how they set things up over there yeah. and, and having, uh, having everything available to, to see and to, to discuss right there on the floor. And sometimes they even have champagne. In the I know they're always, <laughs> yeah, they, you talk about innovating our marketing team yeah. is innovating for sure. Yeah. There's, they, they will find a way to, to drive the traffic and, and make it a good time. So I know I uh, love you guys. Is, everything you do is awesome. And I do want to point out too, that I know you guys will also be at the Western state show. So for all you West Coasters listening to this, um, that's another show in September where you can get hands on because this is the, this is innovation happening as we're watching and really solving the problems out there on the roofs for the building owners, for the contractors, and for overall for our um, environment. So, David, thank you so much for being here today. What a great discussion! I, I learned so much. So happy to uh, to have been invited. My pleasure. I look forward to seeing you out on a trade show here soon or just out in general. So thank you very much. We, we appreciate it. Thank you, David. I will see you at the Florida show because I'm going to make sure we I spent a little time in that polyglass booth. I love it. Um, so thank you again. And thank all of you for um, listening. Uh, we love these roofing road trips. So much to learn. So much about roofing that I'm. Um, I, I don't, I keep learning every single day. So we are so thankful that you come in, you listen to our podcast. Don't miss a single one. You can find them on rooferscoffeeshop.com under the RLW navigation or easily on your favorite podcast channel. Just type in Roofers Coffee Shop, find us, subscribe and hit those notifications so you don't miss a single one. And we will be seeing you on the next roofing road trips. <laughs>